We are about ready, very quickly, to get this one underway. Heat number one for the Unlimited Bangers. Bombs to Scotty Eldon, 3-1-3. Three, three. Unable to get that car off the mark. So, problem for Scotty Eldon, right from the get-go, and he's moved heaven and earth to get that car running for tonight, as uh, Chunky gets involved and winds that 917. Scotty Dog gets going, that's good to see, as uh, Helm helps 8-4-1 trigger into the fence. 924 Matt Millen piling in on Chunky up on the top turn. And uh, Scotty Dog butts heads with Andy Marshall down here on the exit of the pits turn. So the driver's getting underway. It's number 90, Joe 90 who leads, but now going to get flipped aside by Pistol Pete in the Granada limo on the back straight to uh, take up the running. And Pistol Pete continues to put 306 in the fence, and Victor goes in. With a shot the Chunky. Let's see if he can get that car running once again. 841 jumps clear. And it's 811 who leads. Number 90, Joe 90, getting himself running once again. Pistol Peak, the leader in the 811 machine. Victor is second in the Rover P5. 187, Andy Marshall is third. And the rest racing their way through. And through they all come, and again, this race by design. Just to try and encourage these boys to uh, get something out of their cars as Helm now spins around 37. It's halfway, please, Matt, halfway. Helm winding out, David Lewis on the back straight, and that absolutely gorgeous Mark 1 Granada. Matt Millen coming through in the Rover P5, and it's number 90, Joe 90, who leads. Oh, sorry, 8 number 1, who leads, sorry, Pistol Pete. Joe Knight, the earlier leader, and uh, he's under attack, and John Millen will spin him into the fence. The leader has gone. Four to go next time, please. Matt for 188, John Reeves. Clearly enjoying himself in the Rover P5. Pistol Pete has recovered in second, Andy Marshall is third. And number 90 in fourth position. So through they all come. Scotty Eldon going around the top four and the driver voted best entertainer will qualify for the final as uh, Joe Nonny and Scotty Dog has gone around so three level one helm up in that fourth place spot and again the top four will advance as well as the driver voted best entertainer and uh, Helm continuing to uh, entertain as he spins around Mr P5 on the back straight got to be wary of John Reeves behind him because uh, there's no love loss with the Dover boys and the Motley crew as seen earlier with Victor's attack on Chunky. Dave Lewis having a nibble at the 704 car of James Street as they head on to the back straight. 188 Victor leads the way and leads comfortably. It's 187 second, 811 in third and 311 in fourth. Through they all come. And uh, some steam coming from under the bonnet of Victor's P5 as Andy Marshall spins around James Street on the back straight. Unlike last year, it's good to see these guys getting some laps in without some hero trying to uh, make himself a celebrity. And here they come, round the final turn. Victor will win it in the P5 Rover. Got to keep coming, please, Matt, because uh, there's still a lot to go here. Scotty Eldon really struggling as Victor celebrates by spinning Pistol Beat in the infield blocks. Pistol Beat may well miss out on a place in the final. 187 is second. 3 double one he's going to get third. We're looking for fourth. And it's going to be 917 John Millen. And we can call it that Matt Red Flag, please. And your entertainer award, Matt, will go to 3-1, please. Lee Bradbury for uh, full contact stuff in that one.
And here we go, unlimited bangers in the Suffolk Open, the Steamer Memorial get underway. Just listen to that sound, there's 902, Tony Lowther makes a beeline for 884. We lose Paul Sparrow up in the top turn, there's 141 Weston Garage, 164 and 682. 45 will go in on triple six up in the top turn in that early pilot. We've lost 207 blocking on the back straight as 902 Lowther goes in the building in the centre up on the road turn. Meanwhile, on the pit men, Sauer runs in. Bradley Cushion has 196, Gina blows up 45, and it is an explosion. We've got a red flag. We have a red flag situation. 288 going in on Wesley Jr. The Reds are out. And I won't lie, I'm not too sure what the reasons are, but I'm going to suspect it's a something on the top turn, and I believe it's 45. So Lee Sutton in some trouble on the top turn. Please, let's try it again, complete restart to heat number two tonight for the unlimited bangers and the depleted field after the uh, early action. Taking its toll, but uh, still, a few useful people out there, so let's see what we get this time around. Johnny Golden setting the pace with Davy Cox. And uh, Davy Cox suddenly knows how to throw a Volvo around the raceway. Jason Smy has gone around on the pitch turn at 138. And will he pay for that? And no, the rest decide to go past him. The three big Yang tanks made up by round. Tommy Film has come to grief and it's crunch through leads. Goldie in second, Lowther in third, ten in fourth. Nine to eight, Tyrone having a nibble at triple six. Farmer on the back straight. And uh, problems then for Matthew Farmer in the triple six car as he falls by the wayside. One one nine leads, 384 seconds. 902 is third, 746. And the rest race their way through. Johnny Golden now on the back of the 8044 car of Gary D. And uh, looks to put him in the fence, but has to settle for just a nibble. And it has been a largely subdued restart to this one. Carl Sauer getting going again. The Lincoln Town car on the back straight. As uh, Davy Cox looking to try and dispose of Jinna. That won't be easy with that Lincoln Town car limo. 902 second, 384 third. 746 and the rest racing their way through the order. Halfway, please, Matt. Davy Cox now winding out Carl Souter on the pitch turn. The Lincoln Town car goes around. And Davy Cox leading them through in at the 119 machine. Through they come, 119 is your leader. And it's 902, 384. As action on the turn, see 388 Lump deliver the next action of the race. So the restart so far with a shot to Gary D. And then Ted cops it from Mr. Tall down here in front of us. It's Jim. Oh my lord, decimates Ted. It's five to go next time, please, Matt. It'll be a black flag for 207, please, if we can. One one nine, Davy Cox is your lead car, and two o seven, Billy Randall with a crushing it on the three o four. It is a black flag for the two o seven machine, and we've lost ten at the end of the home straight, and the rest come racing through, and Gina gets turned around nine o two. Lauer the manager to spin around. 
Via the 196 call out. Oh, and a beauty top turn! Sarah and Dove told you! He's folded him up like we've got a red flag! And he'll be red in checkered now, red in checkered! And then they've gone in behind. Lowther has gone in on his sour and rolled himself. So a mega end to tonight's second heat. And the red flag's out with that one. And an almighty crash on the top turn. And I very much hope you all got to see it. Red flag's out. Dove Tojo's out of the car. I think that's Joe. And what an epic end to heat two for the unlimited bangers the entertainer of Hold on tight, it's got a little potential. Greg Osborne wastes no time to get into the front. Wayne Linsdale heads ahead with the spun bubbles. Big push into the turn. So he's 250, Barry 95 and 116. 481 goes in on 250. And into the blockage. 317 on 396. 
313 on 317, number two on 52. You don't know what way to look. 407, head to head with 313, they pile in behind. And uh, well, this is what Suffolk opens. The famous four, of course, as James still crushes Lee Flayborn with a T-bone. Andy Butter has gone in on Mr. G. Huge hit from Filmer on Wayne Lindstad at the back of the pack. And they are fighting through on the inside. So a complete blockage, but a gap on the inside now. Well, there was. It might not be for much longer. Craig Oswald trying to find a way out. 6-6-7 six, six, destroys Wayne Linsdow with a big hit. 6-7-3 Fenton on the back of 95. We'd already got it Ricky O'Neill as Muncher destroys Filmer. And they're now fighting a way out as Wills goes in on Hunts. And there is a way through Pikey trying to smash a way out of the pile-up. Do they all come? And we continue with this final heat for the bangers as 751 Blanca finds Finbar for the rear wheel. And 313 Osborne buries 250 into the pile-up and gets a wicked in from 481 in turn. Wayne Linsdale still running and goes in on Georgie Lee and Finley flattens Corte. He gets one from 667 and 116 has come out of that in the lead back. 116 leads this mayhem. We're cutting the laps down. I don't know if I needed to tell anyone that. I'm, I'm guessing that's stating the obvious. Nat Cole leads in 116. Halfway next time, please, back As humps up on the top turn. Thanks is Ricky O'Neill, Wilson, and 50 goes in on Lins now. He gets destroyed by 407. Don't think we needed to worry about giving the F2 boys half an hour. I've, I've got a feeling we ain't got to worry. I think we're okay. Four to go, Matt for your leader. 116, Nat Cole. And Humps is going to blow up Corti and add him to the heat. Andy Battleberry is 95, he gets one in turn from Blanca. It's action all the way, 481 with a crushing shot to Blanca on the pit bend. And Humps now trying to smash away through the pile up. And he gets one in turn from Georgie Lee. Battle's gone in behind. And then Martin, and another huge hit, Blanca with a big revenge shot to number 50, gets one in turn from Finbar. And at the back of the pile, Ricky O'Neill has gone in on Darren Fenley. Humps escapes the pile. And they come through, and there's some movement, the leader's in all of this. And no luck that has been spun around. Five eight seven Humps is second. Carl Howard trying to get running again, and Humps is a lap down on the leader Matt. Just to bring that to your attention, as Blonker is buried in a fat boy by Georgie Lee, and this is proper bang racing. Pikey with a hit to Andy Battle, so it's still one one six Matt. As now two four three gives Carl Howard a head on and gets one in turn from Humps. And the leader getting smashed into the heat. And Pikey goes in with a big hit on Roy Laybourne Jr. And then Ford, Fenley, Battle and Lee all piling behind. No luck Nat, still leads. But Pikey is now second. And more importantly, Pikey is now on the lead lap. And no luck, Nat was steering damage on that car, so this is going to be difficult for him, I would imagine. My apologies, Pikey has just taken the lead. Sorry, Matt. In all the mayhem, 190 is now the leader. 
587 is now being shown in second. 116 in third. This is subject to confirmation, but we are now carrying 190 as the leader. So through they all come. So through they come. And again, Pikey being shown as the man up front. No luck like that battling on. The checker flag will fall at least on Pikey in 190. Who has another nibble at Roy Laybourne Jr. The rest come through. And we'll call it that red flag, please. Glen Racing in heat number three tonight. The unlimited bangers. Four results to come in just a moment, Matt. I can confirm the entertainer award's going to go to 667, Kane Capel. Kane Capel, the best entertainer. And we'll bring you the confirmed race winner in just a moment's time. Seven is the leader, man. Seven oh four goes on two six seven. Love, <laughs> love has destroyed the hearse. Sparrow boy destroys love. I know someone who's looking down the night with a bloody big smile on his face. This is awesome. 
all right, is anyone going to come out of that to, um, to lead it? And uh, they're looking to try and fight a way through now on the turn. And we've got a red flag situation. We've got a red flag situation. Matt will call it. We'll go red and checkered, Matt. I'm not too sure what the issue is. We'll go red and checkered. We've got a problem in there. On laps completed, 37. Dave Lewis is uh, going to get the win. And the entertainer trophy is going to go to 388 Taylor Souter. 388 Taylor Souter is your entertainer award winner. Stunning stuff. I'm trying to find out what the problem was, but the red flags in the interest of safety. They take off on the top turn, here we go, it's going to be a bit interesting this course, all in final, not what we're used to, but it's Andy Gibbs who sets the pace from 918 to 623, 994, the first of the yellows, got it a long way back, 136, the first of the blues, there's 81 with a big tangle with set of 417, 38, the first of the reds, the end of that one, 431, 918, 345, now up the third in 724, they come fighting through, and they are already setting a blistery pace. On the back straight, 6.30 cents at 1.7 around, and it's 4.31 Gibbs. 
from 918, 345, 724, and now 994, Paul Hopkins, the first of the yellows, looking to try and move up the order. Rob Doobie looks to be a spinner on the top turn, he picked himself up. And we will race on as 186 to Ricky, which 177 Scott Big Shot into the pitch turn. 431 leads, 994 challenging for second place as they come belting through, and they are absolutely flying here. 741 Branson with a bit of a tangle with 724 on the back straight. 431 Gibbs leads and is clear. 345 as 299 Smith goes around on the home straight. 994 in third, 630. 918 in 633, they all come again. And 994 will go second now, Matt, gaining a position. Luke Branston's also gained a place as Barry Clough has gone around on the exit of turn four. He'll pick himself up and we race on. Gibbs still leads and leads comfortably. 994, 345. He gets a big hit from Justin Park moving him wide in the race for third. 145, 225, 741, 19. Trying to make out the first of the Starmen. It's Carlis in 103. Who they all come in tonight's stock car final. 921 Aldridge Barge and 918 Wiles out of the way. As they come through, 431 gives the leader. 994 is second, 630 is now third. So through they come as 630 puts the bumper in on Hopkins. And it's 431 Gibbs. Halfway next time, Matt. 994 in third. And through they come, miss it. Trying to move up the Aussie bar, just Branston out of the way. So halfway for 431 Andy Gibbs. Second is with 630. 994, 225, 145. Looks like 743, 19 has. 103 is it, spin for Andy, 86. Bradders who makes a quick recovery. Gibbs will lead him in the second half. But uh, 431 has gone wide, I'm not too sure if he's got a problem. And Parker's taken the lead. 6.30 leads on lap 11 of 20. So they come through on lap number 12. Six, oh, huge crash. Go red back, go red. I know it's not ideal, but that's one of them questions where you just turn them times where you just don't question it. That was a huge crash. Forget the wheel on the track. Justin Parker up the block. Good God. Uh, just like that. That's how quick it is. So 842 Ben Kerry. 702 Alan Cooper. 299 Smith. 918 Wheels and 597 Clo. And Clo is the last car on the lead lap. It's everybody except for the back two, believe it or not. Staying on the lead lap. So this is, this is wide open again. Andy gives back at the front. Despite losing the lead just before the stoppage, he does have a clear run of track in front of him. That might help. He's being very... And he goes. And that was pretty, pretty good. He's, he's got a little bit of an advantage because of that. So here we go again. Gibbs, Hopkins, Blackburn. Blackburn goes all or nothing on the boot of 994. That'll take him to second. Pretty wild behind their three abreast in places as 299 has gone around again. 431, 225, 994, 19. We have lost Graham Moe and Carlis on the road turn. They spin into the infield blocks. Do they all come? We've also lost Kyle Taylor on the back straight. And it's Blackburn now who leads. 431 down to second, 994 in third, 19, 380, Kayser looking to give his track championship hopes a shot in the arm. There's your leader, 225, 431, 994, 19, 380. Here comes 886 now. Bars and 881 out of the way to gain a position. Brad is in the hunt. Taylor the next to show. And here they come again. Blackburn leads, gives second, Hopkins fourth. Sorry, Matt, it is four laps next time. Four laps, please. Apologies for that. So here we go, looking for your leader. Off a of turn four, Blackburn leads. Gibbs is second, Hopkins, 19, 380. 19 with a big hit on 994. It's going to allow Kayser to get up the inside of the 19 car. Ford will backfire, but Ford comes back at the veteran on the road turn. 
fight their way through. 380 now going in on 994, and 886 is there. 886 Brandles will move up, but it's Blackburn who leads. Gibbs is second, Kayser is third, Brandles is now four. Ford, Hopkins, Morrison, and then Blankston, Kerry, Clayton and Clo. One lap to go. The leader goes through, Andy Gibbs in hot pursuit, looking for the uh, lion's share of those vouchers from Randall Racing. The race, the third, is going to go to the wire, but it's a heated final double tonight for Tony Blackburn. Gibbs is second. Kayser holds off Bradders for third, 19. 994881, there's an absolutely wild finish with Bradders and to Ricky. Kayser getting caught up in that, and it's a red flag, please, to end racing in tonight's Stockar final. We'll bring you the confirmed results and the winner of the White Grey Trophy in just a moment. Matt, as soon as the gate's together, we're clear. Thank you, everyone, again for your patience. I hope Ben Harrison's not going to let us down. No pressure, Ben. None whatsoever. Here we go. With the 2014 Unlimited Banger Suffolk Open, Georgie Lee will make the break. And listen to them go. Can't beat a field of unlimited bangers. It just sounds awesome. All right, so we're away in racing. One or two coming to grief on the top turn. It's going to be Davy Cox who barges his way to the front. Georgie Lee, Pikey, Nat Cone. Nate will come to grief in front of us. Back straight, Gina! All right, we'll let him off. He blows up the entertainer with a stonking shot. So Ben Harrison makes it worth our while. Justifies us waiting for him. Will Lump fancy a bit of it? No, he goes through. There's several spinners on the back straight, including the leader. Davy Cox has gone. And Georgie Lee takes it up with a big push into the turn. Albert on Joe Knightley on shorty in turn as they come through. And after the big hit on the pitch turn, things settling down again. Remember, there's additional prize money in this for the uh, first pre 85 car across the line. Two leads. It's one double eight victor, believe you or not, in second in that rapid P5 Rover. So, here they are again, Matt, two leads. One double eight is second. Six, seven, three in third. As uh, Albie Jenner buries Lump down here in front of us. And that allows Andy Marshall to buy my 898. One on six on six, six, seven. We've got a pile up on the star line. Helm into the box. Now, things are about to get juicy. Sure, we trying to run away through. Victor through the rear wheel of the spot, though. 90. Matty goes up Dave Lewis. The pile clears. The pile up clears as a result. Albie Jen looking to try and get back into the running. Dave Lewis. Buried, and we're halfway, sorry, now halfway. Dave Lewis buried in the boot of Shorty. We are looking for your leader. It's all changed again. Number two, Georgie Lee, here he is. Helm coming to grief with Albie. And uh, Andy Battle goes in on the Motley Mark one Granada. 
Number 90 getting involved with 402 as Helm has been destroyed by Tita Cole Salta. Five to go next time, please. Five to go. Number two is your leader. 190 in second, they are miles clear. 187 goes head to head with 402. The Spenley Berries triple two. And 44 in the 187. And behind Nath, Berries Tyrone into the pile up. Pikey has taken it up in all the mayhem and confusion. So much for having a quiet final. As Joe 90 with a big lunge on 673. And him to the heat. There is another blockage. Georgie Lee's been flattened, I believe. Yes, by Pikey. But he's through, 190 leads. Tyrone through the rear wheel of Romeo. And any thoughts that the final will be Roddy have been completely quashed. Andy Marshall trying to come through. He's going to get buried by Darren Fenley. 190 leads. 673 is second. Number two is third. 673 has gone around. Well, what a night the Suffolk Open has been. So they try to fight their way through. And there ain't much left here. Pikey, who won the Steamer Memorial last year. He leads Georgie Lee is second with a lap down night. Pikey has lapped the whole field. Darren Fenley still being shown in third as Sauer gets going again. Gary D looking to try and get himself out of harm's way as Pikey gets involved with two double eight, shoves it out of the way. Number two in second, we've lost Darren Fenley. Looks like it could be Andy Battle moving up in the third. Gary D picking his way through the mayhem on the pitch turn as the checker flags are the ready in the new Southern Open champion is 1-9-0. Steve Bailey, Joe 90 with a huge finish on Salter. Thunders him in to Jason Smy. And we can call it please Matt. Red flag and at the very end. Pikey celebrates the winning style by thundering Gary D into Ben Collins. Well, what a...
So here we go with the last race of the night. There's a big push into the first turn. Osborne's already nailed Sedgwick. And at 82, nails triple six. Several spinners in front of us as Ted finds Farmer for a head-on shot. James Street has come the group in front of us. Will anyone fancy a bit of the Granada Hearse? Picks turn. In goes 171 on 317. Here we go red, go red, please, Matt. Red flags out with an upturned car and a huge crash in front of us. It will be a complete restart as quickly as we can. Complete restart to tonight's accumulator qualifier and destruction derby. Let's try it again. Back to you, please. Take two. Hopefully there's still enough of them to uh, end it on a high note. 751 on 164. And behind 171 will bury a couple. There's a pile up behind us. Sattles bury. 313 gets one for 841. And then Ben Beasley goes in on trigger. Oh, and he gets a wicked hit from Pikey. As he was trying to get back into the running. That's caused a pile up. And that piling it behind, Triple Eight has gone in. Gets one for 52, 481. It's straight up eight. Destroys 841. 116 has gone in on 599. And another cracking hit at the back of the train. That's Andy Battle delivering the hit. Well, it looks like they're gonna send you home with one final hurrah what we wanted anyway. Daryl Garrett trying to pick his way through the heap. He goes in to the melee. Matt Gray comes through. It tones down a little bit, but not any longer. 190 blows up 52. Good pikey now, but he's got wide open. 898, Andy Battle leads. Halfway next time, please, Matt. I don't think we're going to have much of the demo somehow. Love turning around to go in on 82 and behind Cotty buries 898 head on into Lump battle comes through it 998 is second map but a lap down on any battle four to go next time please as Muncher comes through two double eight Carl Salter still runs and 116 no luck now, Barry's 998 into Mr. Cush's wreck. And have we got a red flag? We have another red flag. So, so we've got a red flag situation. And uh, I believe we've got a fourth of this accumulator qualifier. We'll pick it up where we left off. Let's go back to green. So there ain't too much left now. Matty clips a dead car. So through they come, and 119 Davy Cox leads the way. 998 and 898 in second, as a 288 Souter collects the dead 751 car. 388 Lump ain't done yet. Head to head with 52, as Matty goes in on 288. Two laps this time then please Matt. 119, 998 and 898. Because there's a race first before the DD. Carl Salter gives Andy Battle a little extra shove to get them through the heat. Matty hasn't got too much left. I don't think we're gonna have a I don't think we're gonna have a particularly well subscribed DD somehow. I can't see it. Davy Cox. Goes up the back of Matty to fire his way through. Cotty in battle there with him. That is the race for the lead. Those three cars. Pikey still running. Carl Sauer limping to the back straight. And he's in reverse and he is clipped. 
Davy Cox. And Pike is up for it. Monster shot to Souter. And Andy Battle wins the race. 898 will win it. 998 is second. And we will credit 119 with third. Matt, hopefully we'll have a DD. Let's go green. If we don't, I don't think there'll be too many complaints. So who's left? Is anyone left? Lump is up for it. I think Matty's up for it. We'll see what Cotty's game is in 998. There is, there's, there's nothing left, is there? Andy Battle, well, that's the right idea. He goes in on Lump. Showing no fear to the Lincoln Continental. Where will Cotty go in 998? Decides to go around them. It looks like it's between Cotty and Matty for the DD honours. And uh, those two need to come together. Matty waiting on the back straight. No, Andy Battle is moving. So Andy Battle still running after that huge hit on Matty Gray. And Cotty playing a bit of cat and mouse on the back straight and he needs to get involved if he's going to take part in this DD. And have we got anything left? Matty Gray turning around. And uh, Charlie Neal is still trying. So all of a sudden, there's a bit more life. And 52 goes head to head with 599. Andy Battle attacks 599 as well. And here comes Cotty with a big hit to Fat Boy. And as that taking him out of the game, Cotty backing up. No, nope, Andy Battle still moves. So does Matty Gray in the Previa. Andy Battle hits Cotty in the rear wheel. Andy Battle has a go at Matty. I don't think either driver has got very much left here to offer in this accumulator quality for this destruction derby. And Fat Boy gets the Supra running again. Matty rams battle in reverse. And then hits Fat Boy in the front wheel. 898 with a T-bone of the 52 car. Do we have much left here as 599 goes in again? And uh, Andy Battle and Matty trying to stop one another. It's very pretty, but it. It's not what we want to see. But you can understand Andy Bell being a little bit wary and then Previous, obviously mid-engines, very hard to stop. 52, still moving. And there is, of course, generous prize money for the winner of the DD. So ideally, we would like a clear-cut winner. Andy Battle again goes in on Matty, trying to stop the MVP. And 52, Fat Boy piles in as well. Five nine nine drives away. Andy Battle still in the game. And uh, where is Andy going to go? Trying to get to the rear wheel. And a five nine nine will ram at 52 head on. So down to the nitty gritty in tonight's Destruction Derby. It's Charlie Neal for no, the Super still runs. Andy Battle again attacks. 52 as Cotty has got running again, but uh, unfortunately 998 has been out of the action for too long to be an official part of this now with so many hits traded down here on the home straight. But Cotty obviously looking for a big hurrah. And he's looking for Andy Battle, and he manages to get him in the front wheel. 599, Matty trying to come in again on the 898 car. As we look for a decisive finish to tonight's Destruction Derby. 898 drives away, and uh, 898 will repay Cotty with a solid head on down here. On the home straight, gets another one again from Matty Gray in 599. And again, Charlie Neal 
finds a little bit of life. So Cotty unfortunately has been excluded from this for being out of the action for too long on the pitch turn, but uh, through no fault of his own, or apparently no fault of his own, it would seem. And he is certainly, it's not like he's been hiding on the infield, he was obviously on the track, but just out of the action. Here comes Andy Battle again, in the rear wheel of Matty Gray, trying to find a way to finish the Previa. Five nine nine, Matty Gray, limping down the straight. Cotty seems more interested in Andy Battle, and they will meet head on. But uh, Matty is an inch was interested in whoever, and he goes up the rear of Cotty. Down to the final knockings in this DD fifty two. Charlie Neal was thrown everything at this and he will now pile in on Matty as well Side 52 backing away and Andy Battle trying to oh I don't know what that was is that what a Previa looks like when his engine blows up I don't care because September 1st, I ain't gonna look at the damn things anymore. I hate them, I'm sorry. I really do hate them. All right, here we have, oh, I don't think we got much left at all now. So, and 52 now looks like he has Given up the ghost. No. 898 piling in still. Charlie Neal coming in from the other side, but it's these two who really could do with getting to one another. And we'll call it that, Matt, and we will unfortunately, we're not going to get that decisive win. It will be a dead heat between 898 Andy Battle and 52 Charlie Neal. The Entertainer Awards in the last event, in the Accumulator Qualifier, it goes to 171 Tommy West, and in the DD to 898 Andy Battle. And the result of the Accumulator, which I've also not given out, 898 Andy Battle the winner, 998 Wayne Cottrell Jr. second, and 119 Davy Cox third. Sorry, once again, the DD is a dead heat between 52 and 898. The Entertainer Awards in that race go to 171 Tommy West and 898 Andy Battle. The hardest the trophy. The Memorial Trophy for the most devastating driver of the night will go to 388 Taylor Souter. 388 Taylor Souter.